In this section, we're going to talk about how to identify inventory items in the financial statements. So this is the balance sheet and the income statement that we're concerned with. Well, first up is the income statement. And as we can see here, the cost of goods sold flows in right here. So we start with sales revenue that we discussed earlier. We subtract from sales revenue any sales discounts, sales returns, and sales allowances that we discussed earlier. Those all have to be subtracted out to get to net sales revenue. From here, we subtract all of the cost of goods sold to arrive at what's called gross profit. Next up, we want to look at where inventory shows up in the balance sheet. So, of course, we have inventory showing up here in the assets section. And inventory is a current asset. So we expect inventory to be sold within one year or the operating cycle if that's longer. Also, all those amounts when we purchased inventory and we asked the supplier just to send us a bill because we didn't want to pay cash right at purchase, all those liabilities are here in accounts payable. So these are kind of the main areas in the balance sheet where the inventory related items are going to show up. 